Hi, my name is Jimmy. I'm the chef at Madame Vo. Pho is a staple dish in Vietnam. We all love pho because it's food for the soul. And I just, I have to eat pho like at least once a week. There's different regions in Vietnam and there's so many different variations. Everyone has their own version. Ours is a Southern style, so it's a little bit on the sweeter side. There's also a Northern style, which is a little bit saltier and they may not have all the garnishes that we use. All the recipes came down from my mom, my grandmother, and we like to eat it very rich. So we add short rib and I would say it's an American version of pho, you know, pho on steroids. The best way to eat your bowl of pho is when it's piping hot. You know, you want to sweat it out while you're eating it. When you get the broth, you want to taste and you want to smell all the spices and all those notes have to hit your taste buds perfectly. We try to capture all the elements of the beef so it's on a really, really low boil and we cook all the meats down. That's how we keep our brisket soft. Uh, we cook our short rib fall off the bone and all that takes time. So our broth is cooked 24 hours and after the meats are done, the spices go into the broth. We start off with charring onions, ginger and shallots, and then star anise, cinnamon, cardamom, coriander seeds, and fennel seed. Without the broth, there's nothing, right? There's no music to dance to. The garnish just comes on the side and adds an extra crunch to the broth. I like to add my bean sprouts in first because I like the soup to cook the bean sprouts. Some people like it crunchier. I like my bean sprouts cooked. After, I would add basil. Some people like peppers and spice. Some people don't, but I always add everything and I always squeeze a dash of lime just to give it that extra kick in the broth. When I start off with my bowl of pho, uh, I like to eat the noodles first just to see the texture and taste it with the broth. This is a rice noodle. There's different textures, but at our restaurant, we like to use the thinner ones. And because we buy our noodles fresh, we just dip it in the water, five seconds, pull it out, strain it, and you're done. I always add sriracha and hoisin. I like to do a 50-50 mix because it gives you like a little bit sweet and spicy at the same time, but I only use it just to dip my meats. We have Angus beef round eye. We usually put it raw and the soup does the cooking. Beef brisket. And we also have our homemade beef meatballs. And of course you can't miss this. This is the short rib. As you can see, it just comes right off. And this is the best part of the broth. And this one makes the broth great. I always just dig in because our bowls are, are really hearty. As you can see, there's like meat everywhere. So the best way to eat it is with some meat, some onions, some noodles at the same time, with, with some broth. So everything in a spoon. This is a party. That's so good. <laughs>My mom would always have a lot of people over and cook bowls of pho. And like food is, food is just a symbol of love, right? Like it brings everyone together. And I was the only child, so I would always have to help clean, help prep for her. And everything that I learned today as a chef is from my mom and my mom's kitchen. We're not doing anything fancy. We're just doing home cooked meals, mom, grandma style, you know? And we want you to feel like you're at home here in a sense.